Today we're going to look at importing a uh, private Android application into the Google Play Store. Um, essentially, that just really means that this is a, a, an APK or an Android application that's been developed internally um, that we in then import into the Workspace ONE UEM console. Now previously, when you did this, um, the application, uh, I'll show you where that would reside, would reside in the native list. And the way it's being done uh, now, and I think the preferred method from Google is to import it into your, your, your private Google Play Store. So if we go into public, although it's not a public application, this is the way it's handled. We select add application, and then I'm gonna select the platform, which of course is gonna be Android. <clears throat> if you leave this blank, I found it can take a little while. So you can just put any word in here, and then that would force it to search the public app store and return all applications. So we'll let it do that. Okay, and then on the left here, you can see I've got my private apps. So I'll select private applications. And you can see here's a previous app that, that I've imported. So I'm gonna add a new. So I can give it a name now or after I've added the uh, MPK, sorry, APK. So I'll just do demo, oh, demo app. And I'll do upload. And did from there. I need to put that in my temp directory. So I'm maybe Kate. From some of the testing I've done previously, when you import, if the application has been packaged up and marked um, as debug mode, it would complain about that here. The fact it hasn't um, typically leads to a successful import. What I don't know is what are the flags or whatever. Um, checks are being done then, but but personally from experience, I know there it is looking to see if it's in debug mode. Okay, so if I then hit create, what I'll then do is import that APK and add that to my uh, private store. Okay, so that's done, that's successful, that's in. Okay, so it's just gonna take a little bit of time, but if I flick over to my Google Play, my managed apps, if I hit it, refresh, you may find that it's come in already. But as you can see, that can take up to five minutes. Okay, so that's just come through. You can see there, that's one that I've added. Um, so I don't have access. So if I revert back, you can just hit cancel because you're completed there. You can come out of that window. So once we've added the app to the private Play Store, we'll need to then add it to the Workspace ONE UEM app catalog. So we just click on add application again. And then from a platform, select Android again, because it's an Android device. I'm gonna use that file card of anything. And this time, I'm gonna go back to my private apps. And rather than importing from here, we're just gonna select an existing. Because obviously we just, just added that. So that will then add it. And then from here, we can go through those typical app configurations. So which category do I want it to go into? Um, whether it's silent install, any comments, I want to create any sort of versioning against it. And then simply save and assign, and then you're going to define the users it goes to, or the devices. Um, I have a smart group created, which is all my Android devices. So that's what I'll, I'll aim for. you go, Android. And then from here is whether you want to automatically push that out or it be on demand. So I'm just going to add it there. It will confirm which smart group that's going to along the bottom here. And when I hit save and publish, it will show me <clears throat> the specific devices it's going to be installed to. So two Android devices I have in my database. So we'll do that. And then you can see there it is in the app catalog. So that's now available for you to uh, push out to your different users. So thanks for your time. I hope this was of use.